Hello, so here we are again back in my art journal uh, for a new video. So basically I have shown you some of the collage pages that I've worked on in here and last week we made a collage together. Um, I recently this week did like six or seven scrapbook pages so I thought I would show you those and then we could work on another collage. I've been uh, wanting to make something new uh, the past couple days so I think that'll be fun um so yeah so here we are um I will flip through what we've already seen and then we'll switch over to voiceover for uh some collaging so just a reminder in case you're wondering this sticker was from Redbubble I don't remember the artist but whales are my favorite animal and this was from Super Yaki Shop they're very cool and yeah so let's get into it so this is the stuff I believe you've already seen just some collage art. I've kind of just been tossing stuff in here, but it's been very fun. Um, just some random clippings all mixed together. Trying to use the stuff I wouldn't usually use. Uh, and this was the one that we made last week. I am really obsessed with how it came out. Uh, I have to look through my clippings for more uh, pieces that I can layer like this because it's just so much fun. So yeah, so that was last week, and now we'll get into uh, the scrapbook pages I've been working on. So I still have so much of this ephemera and stuff just from like basically at this point my entire life, and <laughs> and I'm cleaning out my basement, so I'm finding more and more of it. So it's just like me trying to get all of this in a book so it doesn't have to be in boxes anymore. And also I've been going through it and getting rid of stuff I don't want, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so yeah, so just some more goodies. I found some Polaroids from high school. This was when uh, we went with my choir senior year. Um, this is a little envelope. This is another, like, an envelope on top of an envelope. I'm trying to um, play around with more, like, stuff like that, interactive pieces and things. It just makes it more fun. So here's, like, a sideways envelope I thought was kind of cool. And this is a poem up here. I don't know who I was, I was probably going to give this to somebody because I said I thought you might like it, but then I kept it, so, okay. Um, this is also an envelope, uh, which I thought was cool because it's, like, from the Cabbage Patch Kids. <laughs> and I'm finding a lot of 90s, like, trading cards, uh, lots of Power Rangers, lots of Lion King. And I did see Britney Spears when I was nine. It was really good. And I have a bucket hat from it. Um... And this is kind of convoluted, but <laughs> so when I worked at Barnes & Noble in Tribeca in New York, um, someone came in and asked for a book, and he I, I couldn't quite understand what he was saying because it was a French name, and he had a bit of an accent, so he wrote it down, uh, the author's name, and then I took him to the, I, we had it, so I took him to the book, he was super nice, and I walked too fast, so he was like, oh, slow down, and then... Um, I showed him the book and he was like, it's such a great book. You should really read it. Um, and I was like, cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it on my list. And it turns out it was the actor Michael Nyquist, who was in a lot of movies, but um, he was the main character in the Swedish adaptation of Girl with a Dragon Tattoo, which was like, at the time was like either just out or, or was about to come out, but I didn't recognize him while I was talking to him. But then after he left, one of my coworkers told me. So anyway, I saved the paper uh, where he wrote his name. He has since passed away, so that's really sad. But um, yeah, so that's just a funny tidbit for that. He was a really nice guy. Here's some more. This is my movie pass card. If you had movie pass, RIP. Those were some wild times. <laughs> Um, and then I put some envelopes here, and then I put, like, little notes here for just labeling them. Uh, but it's, like, just something for me. So these are more Polaroids from my youth. And then this was the last page I just did today. Uh, I don't know where this postcard come, came from. I must have got it from a vintage shop, but it's really pretty. Uh, don't get mad at me for putting this in here if it's, like, worth a lot. <laughs> I don't know anything about Pokemon. This is from probably third grade. Um... If it is worth a lot, let me know. <laughs> and this is my uh, grandpa and my uh, three aunts. And then you can see my mom's like little tiny face. Or actually, that's my mom and that's my other aunt's little tiny face. So I like that because it has all four of them with him. And uh, yeah. So that is everything that I have in here so far. Uh, it isn't too chunky yet, which is kind of promising. Um, 
you know, I'm afraid it's going to get super big because these don't have perforated pages like my other art journal did. But I'm kind of just deciding to go with it. And, um, and yeah, so I like that you are all seeing this journal kind of as it comes to be. And then I'll do a big flip through once I get a little further into it. But yeah, let's make a collage. I'm going to switch to uh, voiceover and we'll go through one of my collage bins and pick out some cool stuff and put something together. So I'll see you in a minute. Bye. Okay, so we're moving on now to the collage portion of the video, uh, voiceover realness. So uh, something kind of funny happened, which you'll see while I was going through the clippings, kind of seeing what would match with those two flowery corners, which I knew I kind of wanted to be uh, one of the focal points of the piece. I found another piece and it ended up inspiring me and I just made a really quick mini collage before I went back to working on the page. Um, so that was kind of funny, you'll see what happened. But um, I love that picture of the lady uh, climbing the ladder. That was from a, I believe a 90s perfume ad. Once again, as always, shout out to the stranger who donated 300 million gourmet magazines to my library because they have changed my collage life. Um, and that came from there. But yeah, so I found this picture of this paraglider and I really wanted to add a mountain range to it and just like switch up, bring the person down a little bit closer to the mountains. And um, so I was looking through what I had and I, I have a lot of mountain ranges right now because of a few of the books that I've gotten recently. Um, they're, I think I've obviously talked about this a million times, but it's one of my favorite, favorite things to collage. So um, I found one at uh, this one that I really, really liked because you can see the mountain, but also the reflection in the water. And I just thought that would be really cool. So um, yeah, and it's kind of like, uh, it ends up being a rectangular piece, which I don't really do super often. Uh, yeah, so I, I didn't want to put it in the art journal. I'm just going to keep it separate for now. But um, just a little spontaneous collage. This happens when I am sorting through my clippings. It's like, there's so many, like that bin that you just saw is one of maybe four that I have maybe more and so like when I find something I have to if I if I find something and get inspired I really kind of have to do it right away because um if you lose a clipping which happens to me all the time like just misplaced amongst everything else then you can lose the inspiration and then it's like wait what was I gonna do where did that go and then you don't find it until like three months later so anyway I saw this paraglider I really wanted to add them to a little mountain range and then I just paper used my paper cutter to make it into a rectangle and I think it turned out really cool I love those mountains against that stronger blue it was like a slightly more diluted blue before but I think this turned out really cool and uh and yeah so I hope you've enjoyed seeing this art journal start to come to life uh both collage and scrapbook uh, it's been super fun so far, and I think it'll be really cool for you all to keep seeing it as it grows and changes and builds, and then eventually when it's done, we can do a big flip through, um, and you'll remember uh, kind of the stuff that you saw. So there's the final result for that good one, and uh, so now we're moving back to business at hand. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited to keep showing you as I work on this, both with the scrapbooking stuff and the collage, and we can kind of just see how it all comes together. So this was a little bit tricky, this one. I knew that I didn't want to use only flowers. Um, I'm trying to save a lot of my florals for my Star Wars art, so, um, because I have so many, but I just don't want to, like, I don't want to say waste, but I don't want to use them in non-Star Wars art because they're such a big part of that art that I do. Um, so I've been kind of like trying to ration them a little bit, but I did love how this green and the tiny flowers within it kind of matched with those pink corners. Um, so that turned out really well. And, but I did want to put a little bit more, uh, of the real life stuff that I don't usually use in my other Star Wars art, um, into this because this is kind of like my one opportunity to use it. So I used that little wristband from the watch and uh, this little window uh, you'll see, which is from someone's like, it uh, looks like from a dining room or something like that. But it's always hard for me to get away from the florals and plants because I just love them. And they're just my one of my favorite things to work with. But um, yeah, so this did require a little bit of patchwork in the end once I was laying it down. You'll see that at the end. But um, I hope this inspires you if you're ever going through magazines looking for put in collages it doesn't just have to be 
people or items, you can use patterns, you can use colors. I always look for just like big spaces of, of like images, just like random textures. It's one of my favorite things. Um, so yeah, so this is kind of the rough draft result, um, but I really like that pop of gold on the bottom. But that's, that was the idea. So then I glued it down off camera and now you'll see the finished result is right here. So I'm gonna give you a bit of a close up. Um, I, I just kind of matched everything up and then I had to do some patchwork there in the middle and then I used a mountain range on the left and believe it or not, that is the mountain range that was underneath the paraglider. So you see <laughs> in collage, everything is usable. Uh, so yeah, I really like how that turned out. I hope you liked hanging out with me and with my journal. Let me know what else you'd like to see on the channel. What about my art would you like to get another a closer look at? Uh, do you have any ideas or stuff like that? And yeah, thank you so much for hanging out and I will see you next time. Bye.